Today, Saturday, 20th January 2017, that is 1748 hours. I have explained countless times over these last 10, 15 years, if not longer, namely by thinking and analyzing and understanding the nature of a whole lot of things. Uh, there is all manners of realizations that have been stolen from me, sold as other people's realizations, sold as revelations by whatever delusional gods, and so on and so forth. Specific sentences such as, nothing man-made can ever completely do in mankind, for instance, that specific thing, but a whole lot of other things I have explained the nature of the universe, especially I have also once more over these last four years explained the nature of infinity. And here's something funny. See, here I am. It's this part of the month again where I am completely broke. And I've watched through all the DVDs that I bought this month. So I'm relying on whatever can be found online. And on YouTube they have Farscape. I've never seen that before. Uh, I watched, I think it was, six episodes now. And it's a, albeit a very American, but then that's okay. It's a wonderfully American science fantasy kind of thing. It's, it's actually a whole lot of classic fantasy role-playing elements just put in space. Uh, it's got nothing to do with science fiction as such, as in science fiction. It's just complete fantasy in space, but it's rather entertaining. They a little light. There's not much continuity. They basically have cut out cardboard characters that they have solve individual little stories. But them being nice little innocent stories set in the depths of space, six episodes sufficed to get me thinking down particular lines that had me arrive at the understanding that being the prime protector of mankind and mankind having the role it has on this planet and in this biosphere, I am quintessentially also the prime protector of this biosphere. All those who have unfucked with access to the extraction field know that um, the topic of biosphere has been uh, brought up again and again in the past and even the realization that I was, for all practical purposes, as prime protector of mankind, also prime protector of this biosphere. Now, that then is nothing new, but it just it just occurred to me, because in this TV series there, in this Farscape thing, nothing in these first six episodes has anything to do with Fix Mundi, I want to point out. Not everything is Star Trek, right? And Fix Mundi made and whatnot. Um, so this is just sheer entertainment. Nothing to do with Fix Mundi, these Star uh, Farscape uh, episodes. But they have diverse aliens so far. Some of them quite a bit more than humans. And it occurred to me, me being also the caretaker of the anti-life equation, um, I am, to a certain extent, or rather, not really to a certain extent, I am uh, argued down a particular line, as prime protector of mankind, always prime protector of this biosphere, and thus really prime protector of all life. And as the anti-life equation, especially when it comes to the other end being in it, <coughs> um, what with them being alien skeleton and that phenomenon of alien skeleton, which pertains to all life, and it's something that all life needs to be warned of, uh, and also the role of uh, YouTube slash Google slash Alphabet, um, with sabotaging the information flow of that information, and sabotaging truth in that information, uh, it occurred to me that really I am also indirectly, very indirectly, 
protecting the entire infinite universe. And I use infinite the way I use infinite, understanding what infinity is. You fuckers out there have no fucking understanding what infinity is. You get sentences out of people's heads, sentences you don't understand. You, you've been doing that for decades and decades and decades out of people who were in the field of science, even before you fucked them all up. Like that generation of science, scientists you have today out there, completely fucked up. Even the not kaput ones, back when they weren't kaput, even out of their lines, you got sentences you did not comprehend at all. Um, you didn't get it then, and you don't get infinity now, but so be it. Um, see, the thing is, in this infinite universe, and it is infinite by the correct definition of it, uh, there is an infinite amount of life out there. Due to the nature of infinity, um, it might just be half a universe away that would still make it infinitely far away because half of infinity is infinity. That is the way infinity works. You need to understand how infinity works. You don't, even though you again and again force me for the umpteenth time to phrase out force verbalization in the same stupid few sentences to discredit me grasping infinity when you do not and to say, oh, this is his idea of infinity, when you have no fucking understanding of what my grasp of infinity is, but so be it. Um, in this infinite universe, I am also indirectly protecting everything else out there. Which also means the infinite amount of life out there that for all practical purposes, or rather for all, let's say for all theoretical purposes, that's more like it, uh, also all the infinity, the infinite life out there superior in whichever fashion, uh, to man, which really means that this kind of protection and me being caretaker of the anti life equation really means that I protect life out there far superior and unimaginable in its nature. I protect it. And then again, not. That's what I meant at first when I said to a certain, down a certain line of arguing, because the wonderful thing is the universe's mechanisms. Um, that make sure that the failure that happens on this planet, namely fix Mundi doing in mankind, will not ever spread. It's, a, it's as simple as that. See, I understand that it doesn't need me, but nonetheless I understand even though it doesn't need me, I am at the same time protecting everything out there that is infinitely superior to mankind. In the infinite universe, I am protecting that. It doesn't need me to do that, but it's a nice thing for me to understand that. Nothing of this biosphere, well, certainly not this instance of the biosphere, give it a few, well, yeah, give it a few million years or something, and my, maybe something new will crawl up. But this instance of the biosphere around, nothing is ever going to leave this planet other than shooting stupid things, individual crap into space here and there, but no life is going to spread. That's the wonderful thing. And if you shoot stupid things out there blindly, you basically shoot them in the next nearest stars. That's what you do. Gravity has it that you might just as well aim directly at the sun, you'd save a whole lot of time if you just want to pointlessly shoot things into the nearest, biggest gravity for them to burn up in some star or other. That's what you've been doing. You've been sending, I mean, for the most part, luckily, delusionally only. Um, but some of you fuckers have been sending shit out there, physically sending shit out there. Uh, they hoodwinked you on most of that. I explained that in the past. Um, but I, I want you to understand that even though uh, if I fail, to liberate mankind from inhuman technologies and all fakes mundi and their willing executioners, mankind will never leave this planet, and uh, nothing of this biosphere will ever leave the system whatsoever. And that's the way that the universe sees to it, that if things go wrong somewhere, it's no biggie. But, and this is the topic of this video, Irregardless of that mechanism, and irregardless of me not being needed, I am nonetheless doing that. I am at the same time being the caretaker of the anti life equation, understanding the anti life equation, being the prime protector quintessentially of 
the dominating form of life on this biosphere, thereby being the prime protector of this biosphere, I am also protecting upwards, so to speak, in advanced forms of life, namely infinitely far upwards, infinitely far out there. I am protecting the entire universe. The universe doesn't need me to protect them. None of these life forms infinitely far away need me to protect them. But I'm doing that more, more passively. You know, that, that's more of a side effect or something. I'm not saying I'm doing this, so to speak, actively and because of my doing it. It's just the situation is that way. And I want you to understand that, especially all of you ridiculously obscene and insane lurches out there, and all of you people who have dragged out decades and decades ago uh, ideas out of science fiction writers' minds and took them at face value. You know, I mean, I, I, I've in the past elaborated again and again in the extraction fields on the unspeakable absurdity and idiocy and obscenity of some of you fuckers out there. How you don't understand fiction for being fiction, how you don't I mean, especially if you're obscene, how you do not grasp the concept of fiction. Uh, but here's something that ain't fiction. I am protecting the universe, including any life forms, however defined, superior by your crazy definition, not in a hierarchic sense, but in a more advanced sense, than mankind. That's why I'm doing it. I want you to know that. Thanks, Monty.